everyone it's your girl gladys aka is that your hair and welcome back to my channel so today we have another wig from y wig so shout out to them for sponsoring this video this wig is called mia it's an afro kinky curly headband wig in the color number 27 and i have her in the 10 inches here with 150 percent density average cap size and yeah she's looking really cute so I'm just spraying some water on her, trying to soften her up, and let's see what she's looking like. All right, y'all, so I'm back with this Afro Kinky unit from Y Wigs, and let's just dive right into the pros. First pro for me off the bat is the color. You know, normally I don't really rock with the 27 color because some 27s are a little bit too brassy for my skin tone, but I actually like the way this one is showing up on camera and in person. Like, I think this is a nice kind of honey blonde 27. And of course, I like that it is dark rooted. Normally with straight hair, I don't like when it's like a stark transition between the dark root and the color. But for natural kinky curly hair, I'm way more forgiving. Don't really care, don't really mind it at all. And of course, it's dark rooted throughout the unit. I like the whole my hair color is growing out kind of look. Another pro to me is just the length of this hair. This is super cute. I'm really feeling this 10 inches. I like that it's like a short bob style. Very cute, very chic. I keep doing this. <laughs> I also like the curl pattern. You definitely have type four hair up in here, four A, B, C, Z, D. And as you saw, I didn't define the curls. I normally do not define my natural hair, like my natural curls, and a lot of people do, but for this look, I was just going for fresh out the shower, like this is how my hair would look. But of course, if you want to define these curls, feel free, use your favorite curl defining product. I have one link down below that I know a lot of people say is really good. Definitely check it out if you're interested. And I really like the fit of this headband wig. However, it only comes with the average cap size. So if you have a larger head, you may not be able to adjust it all the way tightly. As far as cons, one con that I had was just the feeling of the hair straight out of the pack. In comparison to the other two wigs that I've tried from Y Wigs, I tried um, a kinky curly unit and I tried a type 3B curly unit. Both of those units felt very, very soft out the pack. This unit, however, definitely felt like rough, a little bit crunchy. So I would advise you washing this unit right away, conditioning it, and then you can get the true feel of this hair. Because I mean, it mimics natural type four hair, and our hair type needs a lot of moisture, okay? When I go like two days without moisturizing my hair, my hair definitely feels like how it felt before I started wetting it. <laughs> It feels dry, forest fire. You feel me? Remember to treat these wigs like you would your own hair and moisturize. I'm gonna just throw on a headband real quick just to see what it looks like. And I know a lot of you all are familiar with the headbands that I bought from Amazon. So if you like any of these or if you're curious about which ones that I like, just check the links down below. They're all there. Leopard print one. Currently, I'm all about the rhinestone. So I love this rhinestone print one. I think that's pretty cute. I also noticed that they gave me a sleeve this time, which they didn't do before. And I love my sleeve headband, so thank you, Y Wigs. So I just wanna toss this on to see how it looks. One thing I like about the sleeve headbands, they definitely give nice full coverage for my girls who have hair loss along the hairline. No need to worry about that because we got you covered. I'm just trying to see what it looks like because I've never used a sleeve on a short puff. Okay, this is pretty cute. Do a little updo. We got the updo popping. Oh, see, this is cute, y'all. See, this is why I love these sleeves for these updos because I just feel like it holds everything together so, so nicely. And with an updo like this, I would definitely wear bigger hoops. Currently I have these hoops that are the shape of Africa that I love by the Black Owned Business Hoop Mob. I'll link them down below in case you're interested in seeing them. You might've seen them in some other videos. But yeah, y'all, this is cute, okay. Now one thing I need to mention that's also a pro is the price. 
If you use my code, and the code is my name, Gladys, G-W-L-A-D-Y-S, that is how you spell my name in case you're wondering. If you use that code, you will get $10 off. So this unit right now is $125. If you think about other kinky curly wigs on the market, this price is amazing. Compared to Her Given Hair, for example, mind you, they specialize in kinky curly wigs. Their price is about probably anywhere from one to $200 more, even for the shorter length. So I think this is definitely a nice affordable alternative for a similar quality, not quite the same because this definitely was a little bit dry out the pack. But as long as you wash it and condition it, you'll bring it right to life. Let me know how you feel about this unit in the comments down below. Are you here for this color? Are you here for this texture? Are you here for these headband wigs? Man, listen, if you bought a headband wig because of any of my headband wig videos, definitely leave a comment down below. If you are new here, I highly suggest you check out my headband wig playlist. I feature a slew of different styles, long, short, curly, straight, kinky, coily, all in between. I got it for you, so definitely check that out. And if you're new here, tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. We are currently on the road to 20K, so I would love if you just come on in and join the family. And if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out right over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to YWigs for sending your girl this unit, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.